If you are looking to buy for 22 coins or gaming stuff, check out U7 Buy for the cheapest prices out there. Fast delivery, safe, and use the code Y5K to get yourself up to 8% off. Link in the description. Yo, what's going on guys, Y5K, welcome to a new player review on FIFA 22. On this video, we are taking a look at a player who is a whole head gang, a player that is looking like he can play everywhere on the pitch. Yes, we are taking a look at the 94 rated team of the season, David Alaba. Such an insane card this is looking to be, everything is in green in his in-game stats, not only that, also he has got 3 star skin rooms and 4 star weak fit, so if you wanna use him as a midfielder, he will do the job. Now for his stats he has got 88 pace, 91 dribbling, 83 shooting, 96 defending, 88 physical with 91 passing, absolutely great all rounded stats. Now let's take a look at his in game stats, he has got 89 acceleration with the 88 sprint speed, 71 finishing, 97 shot power with the 92 long shots, my goodness. For his passing and dribbling stats, really good stats, he has got 88 vision, 95 free kick accuracy and we all know that he can take a free kick, 95 short pass with the 90 long pass, 88 agility, 88 balance, 99 reactions, 96 ball control and 97 composure. For his defending and physical stats, absolutely amazing, he has got 98 interception, 96 tentacle and 95 slide tackle, 94 jumping, 87 stamina, 88 strength and 86 aggression. With that being said ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the gameplay. After playing four matches with the 94 rated team of the season David Alaba, I think he's a world class player to use on FIFA 22 and in my opinion use him as a center defending mid. His dribbling and passing are absolutely perfect for ACDM, not only that, also his shot bar and long shots really loved his long shots in game. And he has got 3 star skill moves with 4 star weak fit which is ideal for a center defending mid. Now if you wanna use him as a center back, absolutely great pace for a center back, he has got that 88 pace. With absolutely amazing defending, everything with his defending is on point, stand tackle, slide tackle and even interceptions. Really good physical as well, his height is 5 foot 11 which is good for a center back with absolutely great strength in game. And if you are thinking of playing him as a CDM, in my opinion he's a world class center defending mid, not only that, also I think he can be used as a box to box midfielder. Absolutely amazing agility, he has got 92 agility and in game he feels a giant really good agility in game. Not only his agility in my opinion, everything with his dribbling is really good in game, balance, reactions, ball control and even composure. For his passing, in my opinion he has got the passing to play as a box to box midfielder or a center defending mid, absolutely perfect passing in game. Now before we jump into the pros and the cons for the best game style to use with him, if I'm being honest you can use any game style that you would like, but for me if you want to use him as a center back I think you should go with the anchor game style which increase his base defending as well as his physicality in game. With that being said now let's move on into the good things about him, I'm going to start off with the best thing with him which is going to be his defending, 96 defending and I don't think I have to say anything else about that. Everything with his defending is really good, interceptions great, slide tackle absolutely amazing but the best thing with his defending in my opinion is gonna go for his tentacle, really liked his tackling in game. Now second thing it's gonna go for his strength, such a great strength and physicality he has got in game, everything with his physical is really good, jumping, stamina and even aggression. But in my opinion his strength is the best thing with his physicality. Now what about his dribbling, does he has the dribbling to play as a box to box midfielder? Now like I said everything with his dribbling is really good but there's two things that I have to mention about his dribbling, first thing is gonna be his agility. Absolutely amazing agility in game, he feels so agile so make sure if you wanna use him as a box to box midfielder, he will do the job. Second thing it's gonna go for his composure, 95 composure with really good composure in game for a center back. And for his passing, really loved his passing, he has got the passing that you need if you wanna use him as a middle fielder. For his shooting, I would say he has got average finishing in game, nothing special about his finishing. But there's one great thing with his shooting which is going to be his shot power, absolutely loved his shot power in game. And of course he has got 3 star skill moves with 4 star weak fit which is ideal with the 88 base which is really good. With that being said, now let's move on into the bad things that the 94 rated team of the season David Alaba has. And after playing 4 matches with him, if I'm being honest, I didn't find any problem with him. The most important things for a center back, his base defending and physical, and he has got absolutely amazing base defending and physicality in game. And if you wanna use him as a middle fielder, as you saw from his in-game stats, everything is green, and trust me when I say in-game, he's a world-class player. In the end he's an absolutely outstanding player to use on FIFA 22, he's a player that can be used as a center back, full back, center defending mid, center mid or even a box to box middle feeder. 
If you want to use them as a mother feeder, he has got that true billing that you need. Absolutely great agility, balance, reactions, ball control, and even composure. Really good defending as well. And like I said, with his defending, he won't let you down. Absolutely amazing stand tackles in game. For his physicality, his height is 5 foot 11 with a great strength in game, which is the most important thing about his physicality. And if you want to use him as a middle feeder, just take one long shot with him. Trust me, he won't let you down. Such a great shot bar and long shots he has. With his passing, he won't let you down as well. With the 88 pace, he can play as a center defending mid, center mid, or even a center back. 4-star skill moves with 3-star weak fit, that's ideal in my opinion for a center defending mid. Now for me overall, I'm going to give him 9.5 out of 10, really love him in game and I'm looking forward to play more matches with him. He can be played as a center defending mid, center mid, center back, right back, left back or even a box to box middle feeder. With that being said ladies and gentlemen, this is the video done. I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like, tell me in the comments below which player do you want to see next and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.